Hey guys, how's it going? It is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to my channel. It's all about making and saving money. A lot of my videos have to do with selling on eBay and Etsy, merch by Amazon and other platforms, and a lot of jewelry. So I have a jewelry jar uh, that I'm going to bust into tonight. I'm, I needed a little cherry nap, so I said, let's do a jewelry jar. This is one of the ones that uh, I got when I went to the Goodwill. It was that one I didn't... Is that not that one? I'm trying to get mixed up. But I got six of them at one go. And so this is one of the six. I like to make sure that I see something in the jar that I can make my money back on. I spent $19.99 on this jar. So basically, I would have to find two things that I could sell for $10 or something that I could sell for $20. Bucks. And this jar, did I, I was trying to remember which one I grabbed. Oh, did I grab a different one? There was one that had another pocket watch looking thing in there, but I don't think I grabbed that one. Anyway, there's a cool bracelet right here that looks like it's got these running, I don't know what they are, lions maybe? Bulls? I can't quite tell. But anyway, there's that that I thought would sell for, you know, for something. And then there's this elephant here that's got this like iridescent -y moonstone um, in it. So we will bust into this. So I'm, I have a tub here. I'm going to cut it open. I'm going to dip it in the tub. So maybe it'll go smoother. Sometimes I get in there and it um, just tangles like crazy. Okay, and I am live, so if you see, or rather if you hear me talking to people you can't see, I got the chat going on the side. Of course, here here comes Mimi. <laughs> She's in form. She's looking for something to knock around, of course. Was she doing this two minutes ago? No, she wasn't. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to take off the top. Yeah, you hear that? She's looking at me like, what are you doing? All right. I see a really cool bracelet right on top that I want to pull. It's stuck. It's stuck to the tape. If I can get it off the tape. Aha. All right. So look. Look at this blue bangle. Now, I'm still learning about some of the vintage plastics. Look at this. Okay. Both of them now. But I am prepared. I have the water bottle. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I win. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this bangle. Um, hi in the chat, everybody. Cindy's there. Hi, Christine. Oh, I'm re I'm gaining my bearings again. It's a battle every night. Uh, hey, Lydia. Hey, Maggie. How's it going, Thrifty Chick? And Gail. Hi, Chrissy and Kaylee. I'm sure I'm missing people as I'm going down. Hello, hello. Okay, so this is a cool blue bangle. It's a little sticky now because of the um, tape, but it looks cool. I don't, I don't think. Again, I'm, I'm still new to all the different plastics. I mean, I'm smelling it to see. I don't think it's the right kind of color for Bakelite. And I don't know about this. See how it's kind of got that white edging on it where it's cut. I don't know. Anyway, it's cool. I think somebody would still really like it. What did I say? I was going to dump, right? I'm dumping into the tub. I, ch I keep changing my mind. No, I'm not. I'm picking this off because I see it and it, look, it looks pretty. I want to dump it. All right, so look what was right on top, too. It was inside the bangle. Look how pretty. It doesn't look like it's missing any stones. Hang on, one more look. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so there's the side. And that's the backing of the brooch. I don't see any maker's mark, but I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. I think it's really blingy and green and beautiful. Not missing. Nope, nope, nope. No stones missing. So yeah, I think this could sell easily for uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look it up, but definitely, definitely think that could go for some good money. Okay, next we've got this um, pearly bangle. I am not going to bother rubbing my teeth on these ones. They're pretty nasty. That one looks pretty gross. Um, yeah, so that's gonna probably end up in a lot over here. That's my tub over there making that noise. Cleaning out my closet and being entertained. Awesome, <laughs> thanks, love them anyway. And Kaylee says, I bought a jewelry drawer at a Goodwill for 30 bucks, and in it, I found a sterling silver bracelet, some bone-shaped earrings that I thought were cool and unique. You don't see that kind of stuff every day. Absolutely not. Um, you don't. I was just watching you guys. Do you watch? I watch Antiques Roadshow, but I was watching the UK version. And on it, there was a, a, 
uh, what's her name? Hattie Carnegie, which we've talked about before, um, bracelet that this lady bought at a car boot sale for a hundred and something bucks, and it was worth like three or four hundred dollars. So even though it was custom jewelry, it could still be worth a pretty penny, right? So it swoon, right? <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so here we go. This is a stretchy bracelet, but it's got some cool beads on it. Um, the the stretch on it and the beads are a little loose on there. I don't know if you can see they're kind of running. A, I don't know how you describe that. They're not really tight. Um, so this would probably go into a lot. I'm looking at the beads. Yeah, this will probably end up in a lot with some cool blingy beads or something. Then there are these earrings here. Gosh, those nails. Okay, I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do my own nails. I think. <laughs> um, they, you know, they're magnetic. They're. They'll probably. These will go into a lot as well. Okay. So, ooh, this is cute. This is cute. Okay, look it. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny little belt ring that is this mesh. I'm gonna see if I can open it. It's so adorable. Look at it. It's tiny, but it's so cute. Let's see if I see any markings on it. I don't. But hey, I think this this is a contender for something that could make some of the money back on our jar for sure. Look how cute it is. It's adorable. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, the beads are nice, right? You'd rethread them on. Oh, cool. Okay, that's a good idea, Cindy. I don't do a whole lot of that, but they're, those are nice beads for sure. Okay, so teeny cute ring. What is it? Oh, Jennifer asks, what does it mean if they're magnetic? So I do have my loop and my magnet. I don't know where my jewel, my technical jewelry magnet is, but I've got this that I'm using. Um, so basically, if they're magnetic, it means that they're not going to be gold or silver. So these are magnetic and they're not super magnetic, but when I set them on my thing, I pull, they pull along. So there's that. So I kind of like to see. It doesn't always mean things that will be silver or gold if they're not magnetic, but it's a nice step in the right direction. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got the winner. I did not see this in here. But look, let me just turn it that way. Just because. So this is a really pretty little cuff bracelet. It's got that Southwest style. And this way it kind of looks like a fleur de lis up there. But then it looks like a horseshoe upside down, and horseshoes aren't supposed to go upside down for the bad luck. Uh, so, do I see any marks? And it's got kind of a tarnish on it, but I don't think, I'm leaning towards it not being really silver just by the look of it, but let me take a look. Let me, but I still think even, well, it's not magnetic, um, but I don't see any marks on it either. It doesn't sound like silver, if that makes sense. Um, I'm looking on the inside for any marks. I don't see any. So I'll um, take a closer look at this, but I think this could easily sell for, for 20 bucks. Turn it the other way. It looks like a turtle with a horseshoe upright <laughs> like that. Ta -da. So that is cute. And the little stone in there is, I'm guessing, probably some kind of howlite. I'm guessing. All right, so next we've got, all right, not so bad. At first I was like, oh, I don't know. Nothing is like, really, there's a couple okay things. I think I'll, see, see? <laughs> All right, we've got these shells. And I, I have like a a lot, I'll, I'll set up like a whole like lot full of just shell type necklaces to sell together. All right, there goes something. Okay, all righty. If you're, if you, I, I know most of you are here for jewelry, but if you also watch me for merch stuff, we're moving merch talk again this week. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> we're we're going to have it tomorrow because I can't have it on Wednesday again. Again. Okay, look at this necklace. This is really pretty. So it's like these three strands and they are increasing in length. I'm sure there's, I can't think of the word for that. Like so. But isn't that pretty? I like it. It's very feminine and dainty and it's got really pretty blue and gray beads in there. Very pretty, I, I totally think I could sell that. Let's see, do I see, no it's not silver, but I still think it's really pretty. Okay, so, <laughs> the calf bracelet looks like something I think you, or me? <laughs> Gra graduated, see, I guess as far as the strands go, but when I think of graduated, I think of like 
the beads are getting smaller as they go. But I guess as, you know, there's one longer and longer chain. Ah. Okay, then we've got this. I'm checking to see if there's any stones missing. Got another bangle, no stones missing, pretty cute. I come across them that are like this every now and then. I don't see any marks in there, so I don't know. This one might go by itself. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> how can you tell if shells are fake, or how do you know if they're real? Well, I, I don't, I mean, just when the sound and the feel of them, Layered, staggered, thank you, Julie. Um, yeah, and I don't know, do they fake these shells? I guess they could fake them, but they're not, I don't think they're worth, uh, I don't know that they're worth faking. Come here, are you stuck to the tape? They are, I think, are you tied? What is going on with that? Okay, so here we have another necklace. This is kind of cool. It's got these, would you call that maroon or burgundy? And it's connected to these strings, not you know, ribbons. Um, I'm probably gonna put this in a lot because the ribbons look kind of yucky. And I mean, just kind of frayed a little bit unless I wanted to get some new ribbons for it. This part's really pretty. I mean, just the main part of it, but the ribbons are kind of, mm. but it's cute. Or is it a belt? Can you get a belt? I could, I could wear it as a belt. Maybe it's a belt. <laughs> Maroon, burgundy. <laughs> All right, so maybe it's a maybe it's a belt. I don't know. If I can wear it for a belt, most people could probably wear it for a belt. Okay, cool. Wine colored. <laughs> okay, then we've got this stretch bracelet. It's got these black and here we go again. <laughs> they're, they're saying maroon burgundy. <laughs> Wine colored, yeah. So we've got this one. Um, this will probably go in a lot too because the, the elastic is a bit loose on it. A belt for a belly dancer. That's what I think. Yeah, I think it might be like a belt. Rather. Um, hey, hey. Okay, so next I have, this is the one of the bracelets that I saw that I thought, you know, could make some of the money back. It's unusual. It's got animals. That looks like a lion there. Lion maybe. And, oh, they're all different animals. I see. Okay, no wonder. That one looks like some kind of tiger maybe. And a bull, maybe? Hang on. Are these Chinese zodiac? No, there's not a lion in the Chinese zodiac, is there? Are they regular zodiac? <laughs> maybe. But they don't have all of them. It's a lion, a tiger, or maybe a bear. So lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. Okay. That's cool, though. And it's got this, like, punched out heart on the inside. So I don't know if that's a brand that you know. Oh, it's got two punched out hearts. Okay. Like so. Cool. Uh, let's see. Most of the stuff so far is maroon and black. Yeah, you're right. You're correct. Okay, then there's this watch. Looks like so. It's not missing any stones, um, but it's kind of in yucky shape on the back. Yeah, it's kind of grody. On the back, you can see there where it's kind of all... Uh, I don't know, what's the word for uh, <laughs> yucky? Um, so yeah, there's that. That'll probably end up in a lot. I can't see what that brand name is. On that same episode of Antiques Roadshow, I was watching this this family brought in a Cartier watch, but it was so mangled, they had to send it off and they got, oh my gosh, they got it fixed and, oh, thanks, Deb. We, yeah, we're starting our rocks and minerals. She said she's sending some rocks to us. We are starting our rocks and minerals. I started homeschooling, if you're not aware. Here she goes again. Hey, Mimi. You can't you can't do that right now. And the thing is, she doesn't do this when I'm just sitting here working. Mm -uh. Hey Daisy, how's it going? Disgusting nasty. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. So these are some little seed bead earrings. They're kind of cute. They have that layered lengths, but they'll probably end up in a lot as well. Is this AliExpress? No, it's from a jewelry jar from Goodwill. It's from the Goodwill. Okay, we have got a tangle. What is sticky? Something is sticky on my hand and I don't like that. Okay, this is a ring that is unusual. It's on this kind of stretchiness. 
I don't know. Do people? I I don't know. I mean, sh I can't decide if I would list this or not. If I would, I mean, this part's kind of cool, but this part back here is like, eh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's unusual. Maybe worth a try. Okay, I'm gonna think about that one. That one might get listed by itself. <laughs> All right, and then. I've got an earring here and this stuff that's either supposed to be on it or it's tangled. Bonus hair. We've got bonus hair. Let's just put that over there. <laughs> Thumb ring. Okay. The dreaded strawberry bottle, right? She had it coming. She had it coming. Yep. Um, then we have another watch. This one, the bands are really grody. Really grody. Um, and it's like so again probably end up. Oh, this is a guest brand watch. Do they sell? I'll have to find out. If they do, it would definitely need a new watch band. Mimi. Man, she's persistent tonight. All right. <laughs> Here's not the worst of it. Remember when I found that tooth? You're right, Jimmy. Remember when I found that tooth? It was in something, and I was like, there's something in here. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to see what it is. It's a surprise. And I opened it, and then it was a tooth. <laughs> okay. Next, let's see. Um, um, hey, Justin, how's it going? Okay. And then there's this wooden bracelet, but, again, the elastic is Mimi's my cat. She's one of my cats. Um, so she, I'm just randomly spraying children. Oh, I don't know. It's one of my cats. And, but but she, when I start doing videos, she gets in here and she starts knocking stuff all over the floor. It's it's crazy. All right. <laughs> so here we go. Your cat's watching me. <laughs> yeah, Mimi's one of the new ki the new kitties. I guess it's been about a year now, but she's one of the, the kittens that we got. So I'm pulling some things out. The okay. We've got this wooden bracelet that's got the swastikas on it. And if you are unfamiliar with the symbol of the swastika, it was a peaceful symbol is in like the Buddhist, I don't know, is it Hindu as well? But I know Buddhist tradition, the swastika was a peaceful symbol. And then something happened historically and that changed the symbolism of the swastika. <laughs> There you go. I don't know how to sell a swastika neck bracelet. How would you? I don't know that I could. Anyway, um, so yeah, I would have to find another name for them, probably. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Mimi wants to be part of the video. Yeah, I have four cats, Kaylee. I have four cats. Yes. Um, okay, so th this is an earring. I'm hoping to find the mate for some of these earrings in here. There is a green bangle, plasticky bangle, like so. And, okay, again, earring. Hoping to find the mates. But again, I bought six jars at the same time, so some of the mates might be in one of the other jars. Puzzle piece, right? It looks like a puzzle piece. Oh, you know what? That might be it. They really do look like swastikas, though. You think it's a puzzle piece? I guess I could do puzzle piece. That's true. Okay, good, 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 good. Did you use oh, the spray bottle? If, when he needs it, I used it on him. <laughs> Turtle Trader says, do I use it on Randy? Hopefully you're talking about this. Yeah. Uh, I've tried it on the kids too, but it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara is asking, what do I use to clean my jewelry jar? I, I will usually just use like, you know, a, a damp cloth to clean most things like that. I um, mean, unless it's really, really bad, then I'll use, you know, have some silver cleaner for silver. This is kind of cool. It is a stretch bracelet, but the stretch is pretty good on it. And then it's inlaid with these, they look purple in the light when I hold it up, but they, they look like bits of wood. Maybe, gosh, those nails. Okay. Like so. Um, okay. American Indian good luck symbol. Okay. Okay. I know that it was used also in old Buddhist temples and stuff. Alrighty. Then we've got some more bangles here. I don't know where it started though. And that's just like a little cheapy one. Uh oh, what's funny? Cindy, what's Cindy bad influencing about? I missed it. 
Okay, I'm pulling out some stuff. They're kind of tangled up. It's a bit tangled up in here. All right, let's see what we've got here, y'all. That's another earring. Ow. I hope your day is going well. I still have to do a couple listings tonight. Yikes. All right, so this is a long, it's one of those long necklaces. It's really colorful, though, so it's kind of pretty. I don't wear this kind of stuff generally. I see a hang tag. We'll come back to you in a second, hang tag. Do, 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 do. Some nice beads there. Okay, what brand is this? Uh, it is Chico's. And there are people that like and look for Chico's jewelry. So I wouldn't say that it always goes for a lot, but it definitely goes. Hello. What have we here? So here is a big pendant on, I'm trying to tell if this is, I think it's just plastic made to look like, like that phenolic resin. You know, the, some African like beads, like that African amber, that phenolic resin, you know, the, it has that color and this like dark texture to it. And to me, it looks like this is trying to imitate that to make it kind of look like a tribal type thing. It's cool. I bet I could sell that, but I think it's just, it's just plastic. Yeah. Um, I'm researching to meet my jewelry group daily quota doing research. Oh, no. Oh, that's what happened, Angela. <laughs> she said she was messaging Cindy about jewelry jar, uh, jewelry listing stuff, and she said, Margaret's doing <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I have not, Laura. She's asking if I've, Laura's asking if I've tried listing on Mercari. I haven't, and I actually just downloaded Poshmark so, because, pardon me, I'm going to dry now, because I do so much, um, jewelry. So I, I, someone suggested I should try Poshmark. I've downloaded it, but I haven't gotten there yet. Um, okay, so next up is this bracelet, but it's in kind of rough shape. I mean, you can see there's like yucky marks and then some of the prongs are coming loose. I mean, I think if it was clean, I don't know. Even if I try to clean it, it's like the edges are all messed up and mangled. So this will go into a lot. Hang on. I'm looking to see what's under it because it's a Macy's and I can see a brand stamped on it, but I can't make it out. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't really matter. Or does it? <laughs> oh, it looks like an Indian type necklace. Okay. Good keywords. I'm peeling off this, this uh, sticker on the inside to see what it says. It says a fatal... Hang on. Why? Why do I have my curiosity? I got it downloaded. I haven't used Poshmark much, she says. Um, Phyllis. Um, oh, a fatal attraction to cuteness. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thought it might be something cool. Okay, my sister is commenting on one of my videos right now. How's about she shows up in the chat? <laughs> I get little ding, like little notifications on my phone when sometimes when people comment. Not always, but I just one popped up that my sister was commenting. Okay, so here's this one. Look at these blue beads. They're like really, I love that cobalt blue. And I have the light coming through them so I can see the, the these ones look really, really nice with the blue shining through. But again, they're on this like cord that's like all mangled. But I think those blue beads will do nice. Um, I mean, I guess I could pull them off and do like a really nice bead, like a blue bead lot. There we go. Okay. So that's going over there. We found a few okay things. I still have more. There's still this much to go through. I still have a couple earrings that are missing mates. Again, that might be in another another jar. Okay, this is, was an earring, but it's missing the front part of it. No, mm -mm, no. My head itches, and I don't want to touch my hair with my dirty hands. Okay, then there's this bangle which um, it's kind of like cut out metal. I don't see any marks or anything. This will probably end up in a lot. It's, eh, it's okay. Now this one, uh, what do you think about this? Okay, so here, it looks like it would be like a cuff bracelet, except there's like a hole right there. So was it earrings at one point? Ow. Or is it like one of these Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman, ching. 
Uh, <laughs> I think. Ah, oh, ah, yeah, there we go. Got it. Huh. I'll probably try to sell this as a cuff bracelet, even though it has a hole there for a random unknown reason. Unknown to me, that is. And it's only on one side. So maybe it was earrings that hung like so. That would be weird. I don't know if, if that's your thing. I'm just saying that's big. <laughs> no, right, Lauren? She's like, that's one big A earring, right? It's blingy, right? You could do a beaded bracelet mystery box since you have so many beaded bracelets. Oh, that's true. And somebody would really probably like that, you know, because it's crafters. Crafts. Okay, next. Oh, this, oh, that is an earring. Oh, dear. I thought it was a, so this is what I was pulling out. I was like, oh, that's a cute bracelet. Except for it's not a bracelet. It's an earring. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so that's an earring right there. So, and the mate is definitely not in this jar, but hopefully it's in one of the other ones because those are kind of cool. Not that I would wear them, but I think they're unusual enough for big earrings that somebody would enjoy them. Wow, I thought that was a bracelet. <laughs> that's still cool. Okay, hopefully we find the mate for that one. Then, okay, what is this? Uh, this is a clippy for your hair see like that uh let's see would the bracelet part go over your arm belly dancer jewelry okay um yeah they're neat but they're really it's really big for sure oh that's cute hang on to that all right i've got some more here's a little girl stretchy purple that almost looks like a hair rubber band um ba -dum, ba -dum. yeah some of these earrings i'm hoping are in the other jar because this one, the mate isn't there. Look at the bling on that one. That's a big one. Hang on. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to the clubs tonight. Where's my other earring? No, I took it off because I was halfway ready to fight a chick. And then I, she changed her mind. And then I'd already thrown it because it was the passion in the moment. And I threw my earring. But <laughs> now I just have one. Okay. <laughs> that was, that's the story behind that one. Right. Go to Michael's and buy a spool of elastic for bracelets. Restring the stone ones with the boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. If I, if I don't find the mine, I get to get apart. Thanks, Cindy. Ah, uh, she changed her mind. <laughs> she changed her mind. Yeah, she saw me. She took one look at me and she was like, I better not. <laughs> that chick looks tough. No. <laughs> okay, next. There's this really circly brace um, necklace, rather. That's kind of cool. I could see someone really liking that, like so. Nice. <laughs> I don't see any maker's mark on it. I don't think it's silver either. Let me grab my. It just feels really lightweight and yeah. See, magnetic. Yeah. <laughs> the chat's a little behind, so I don't know which part you're laughing at. I see. I see laughter in the chat, but. <laughs> oops, oops. Okay. So then we've got these bangles. There's a few things here that I, you know, we're gonna make the money back, but it's not so far nothing like over the top amazing. There's this, which is a necklace. Okay, now I figured it out. It's got this, hang on so you can see better. Like so, pendant. And then this is the clasp on the back. It's kind of pulling apart a bit with the twine or hemp, whatever they've used. It's, mm -mm. Yeah, probably go into a lot. And then another one earring, just one. And then there's some more stuff, so hang on. There's some more cute stuff in here. If I can get the mates. Hang on, I'll separate them out up here. There's a brooch, okay, let's figure out what this is. I'll show it to you and we'll figure it out together. Is it a dog? No, I bet I bet you know what it is. Because look, it's a brooch. I bet it's half of a bow. Like so. Because I'm like, oh, what's going on there? So I bet the other half broke off of this brooch. So it's like half a bow. It's missing stones. That's all there is to that one. All right. I thought, well, maybe it's a dog or a golf bag. But no. You know, we still haven't gotten to that elephant, that cute elephant that I saw in there. 
Here's another, man, this is, a, I need to find the mates to these. This one would be super cool if I had the mate for it because look at that, that's blue. That's big and blue. Is that half a Cora? The half of the brooch? No, it didn't have any marks on it. <clears throat> anyway, again, hoping for the mate in one of the other jars. Because that's cool. Cool. I think they, did they do this to drive me nuts? There's like one earring, one off. Constant, all these one off earrings. Okay, there's that. Then <clears throat> this brooch, it's one of these that opens up that you can, it's, where's the hinge open? It is hinged, I can see it, but how do I open it? Hang on. Oh gosh, is it making me think? Watch it not really be hinged. Oh gosh, okay. Anyway, maybe it's <clears throat> maybe it's not really hinged. But it's this open work, probably going to open somehow. Normally it's up by the, the front part, but no. Okay, maybe it doesn't open, okay. So it looks like that on one side. Looks like this on the other side. <clears throat> Maury says maybe they all belong to a bar brawling chick and she lost one, one of each pair. Every single time I go out to the honky tonks, these girls, this, this is my strategy, see? This is my strategy. I just wear one and then they know, oh, there's that girl who gets in a half a fight every other Saturday night and she just takes off one of her earrings and then the girls figure out she means business. So, so now I just, I just, that's my strategy. So nobody mess with me. I just wear one earring out and then they'll leave me alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so here we've got another bracelet. Um, anyway, we're done with that. I can put that over there. Um, and this has got a moon and a star. It's really cute. Back to business. <laughs> no, we don't want to laugh. Um, <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Okay, there's a question. Is there a way to tell if brooches are vintage besides how the back pins um, on the clasp? Well, it, one is, is if there's a maker's mark, that can kind of help. If not... Sometimes it's just the construction of it, just the way it's made um, or the style. I know there's there's things that are revival that are done that are similar to older styles, but yeah. <laughs> so that, that would be how. Sometimes if it's a, a piece that's made to look old, it can be hard to tell. There's another one-off. There's another one-off. Boy, I like this pair. Where was I? I think I was down at Gilly's that night. Need to go check the Gillies parking lot, see if I can find the, find the other one. <sighs> or their souvenirs. The, the girls beat her up and then take one of her earrings as a souvenir. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, here's another one that's cool. Hopefully the mate's around somewhere. It's kind of shiny. It's got these little, yeah. <laughs> she is or was that watermelon chick, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me? No. Maury says, I think Miss Texas has a colorful past. Not me. Well, you didn't watch that. <laughs> you didn't watch my interview with my brother, did you? <laughs> Cindy, I, I'm sorry you guys are watching. If you're watching this later and you're missing the chat, Cindy says, don't you feel like she knew that story too well? I think she's rehearsed that story before. <laughs> is it rehearsed or is it real? <laughs> you just can't make it up. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so here is a little Hello Kitty pendant, but she's missing an eye and some other stones, which is unfortunate because she's cute. So there's that. How about this chain, though? Sometimes the chain will be good. Let's check it with my magnet. Gilly's throwback. Oh, yeah. I grew up in Pasadena, so Gilly's was <laughs> a hop, skip, and a jump away from where I live. I actually have a Gillies mirror in the other room. My grandmother used my grandmother. <laughs> this is something else about my grandmother. My grandmother used to go to Gillies. So we had a lot of Gillies um, memorabilia. And we have, I have, she, when, when Gillies burned down, I guess I was in junior high, high school, high school, late high school, early high school. Um, she went down there after it burned down and she grabbed, uh, she got a baggie full of its ashes. <laughs> Yep, we got some ashes from Gillies. 
in the seat. It's in the cedar chest with Grandpa's war medals. Anyway, I'm not even lying either. The Gillies ashes are, are in the cedar chest with with all of the like war medals and stuff. Why? I don't know. That's just where we put them. <laughs> yeah, I don't see my grandmother riding the bull though. I don't know. Carolyn says, I always wanted to go there. Urban Cowboy is my favorite movie. Oh, yeah. Urban Cowboy. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we have next. i um, got some earrings here. And there's a mate for one of those. Okay. Yay. Got a mate. Then I know I've seen this earring before. I think this may have been in the last jar, which yay, because it's awesome. It's just kind of like mixed or else it's peeling off one or the other. This kind of, what would you call that? Like Greek style with the curly cues and stuff. I don't know. But, well, I'll have to go find the mate for it. But I know I've seen this earring before. So, there. Is that a bar? It's It was a kind of a bar. And, like, music, like bands would play there. And they had the mechanical bull. Um, it wasn't just a bar. It was, like, it was like a, a fancy, not a fancy honky-tonk, but, yeah. They had bands and music and country dancing and, Anyway, okay, this is cool. It's got these um, hematite beads and then these green chips in there. So that's cool. That'll sell. I got to get rid of the bonus hair, though. Bonus hair. You can't say. Wasn't Gilly supposed to be haunted? Oh, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> he's still around, too. I think he's over there. I think he's living in Deer Park. Or I don't know that he's in Pasadena anymore, but... I saw that he, they went to visit him on, um, what's that show? Oh my gosh. Mike and American Pickers. Yeah, American Pickers. They did an episode where they went to see him. So anyway, all right, here's a little ear crawler, a little cuff ear crawler. Here's the little elephant. Yay, this is cute, okay. There's a little elephant and it's got this, Kind of moonstone, probably you know, probably simulated. I'm guessing moonstone tummy. Now, technically, not a jelly belly because jelly bellies were made by my brain just went whoosh right out the door. Amer <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I, I, there are people that use the term jelly belly that would use the term jelly belly as a keyword on this but it's not technically a true jelly belly so there's that yeah um oh my gosh there's elaine i was just saying oh elaine just when you commented on one of the other videos i was like uh, elaine commented on one of my videos doesn't she see i'm live how's it i was hoping this could you would be here with me for this my sister um but maybe next time you come in tomorrow right charfari thank you i was my brain just went Sproop like that and I couldn't remember Trifari. So yeah, jelly bellies were done by Trifari, but this is not Trifari. Um, but, I mean, that's a descriptive term for the belly and the, and the jelly in the belly, right? Uh, okay, anyway, so let's see. It's nice, it's got a nice, it is magnetic, but that's okay. I don't think that it being magnetic is gonna decrease its adorableness right? I know. Oh, I hope he's feeling better, Elaine. Yeah. Sister's in the house. Yeah. It looks like a jelly belly, but it's not it. But it is not. It is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not a triflurry for sure. Okay. But I definitely think that I can sell it. So that's a cool piece. Then we've got a couple more things and some bonus hair. Whoop. We love the bonus here. Not really. Just kidding. Uh, we've got this bracelet, like so, and it's got a mark on it. Let me find my um my loop so I can see what the mark is. I know, Laura. I was just telling Elaine. I texted her and said we haven't done a video together in a long time. We need to get some stuff. We need to get some video together. I always have fun when I do videos with my sister. 925. Okay, so it's marked 925 Italy. I will have to, it's, yeah, it might be. It's not magnetic. It's marked 925 Italy. 
and it's just it, it needs a cleaning because it feels kind of grody but that's cool if that's a silver bracelet i'll probably still test it just to be sure um let's see yeah we do we need to make some more videos together oh this is a cool one. Oh, i hope that i really hope that the mate for this earring is in here look at this clip on it's a clip on earring but look this part goes into the the hoop you don't see that very often or i don't anyway so i'm really hoping that the mate is in one of the other jars because that's cool right there yeah let's see okay oh thanks whitney about the whitney saying in the beginning of the video there there was a pink cup it said fatal attraction to cuteness it's harajuku lovers by gwen stefani oh thanks i'm trying to decide if it would be worth cleaning up i guess i'll look it up i mean the edges are kind of bumped up but if it's worth money it might be worth uh cleaning up hey jeff's there <laughs> hey jeff how's it going how you doing <laughs> Okay, then, and I was telling Jeff, Jeff, I was telling them we're going to do the show tomorrow instead of Wednesday for Merch Talk. Uh, what? No, I'm not sticking that thing up my nose. Anyway, <laughs> this one has a little pressed flower, but once again, the mate is not there. So I'm hoping that the mate for some of these earrings are in the other. I'll show you what I got here. There's this one. I'm really hoping the mate is in the other jar. This big old leaf. <laughs> she thought I was a hippie. She thought I was a hippie chick. And then she tried me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and this one too. I, I feel like this is one that I said from the last jar. Like, oh, I really hope the mate's in one of these jars. So this one may be in the other room. Too tired for mischief, you say. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, then this is another one that I'm really hoping the mate turns up. I love the mosaic look on this one. And that's pretty much it. Elaine, you missed my story time, my making up stories. That would have been fun. All right, here's a really cute one that, again, I hope the mate turns up. I'm going to find my magnet somewhere. Where'd it go? Here it is. It is magnetic. Oh, well, yeah. Yay for tiredness. Yes. All right, that's pretty much it as far as the jar goes. We found some okay things. I mean, there were no, it was like gold, like over the top. Joanna on Fixer Upper has worn some earrings like that, that leaf. Oh, yeah? Cool. I need to see if it's in one of the other jars because it's awesome. Um, yeah, I was telling stories about, show us what earrings you were wearing, what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing these ones. And I have on two. So you know I haven't been down at the honky tonk picking fights with anybody. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Um, hopefully Elaine tomorrow can do a video with me or something. Shoot, if we have to just even I don't know, I don't even know. We'll figure it out. Cause you're coming tomorrow, Miss Miss Elaine. <laughs> Elaine knows she was with her. That's right, she was holding my shoes. <laughs> when I was when I was going after the girl. I said, here, Elaine, you hold my purse and my shoes and my one earring. She lost it. She lost my earring. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I blame, blame you. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Go over there and hit the, um, am I sure? Elaine says, Elaine says, are you sure you want to do me to do another video? I am sure. Oh, my gosh. We have so much fun together, Elaine. Yes. We're going to. Your brain ain't all there yet. That's what I like about you, girl. That your brain ain't all there yet. It's okay. It's cool. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Thanks so much. Um, go over there and hit the thumbs up, everybody. Uh, and if you're watching later, leave a comment letting me know what was your favorite piece from the, from the jar. Or if you found something really awesome, I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment and let me know. Or just say hey, because I like to see who comes to visit and all of that. So, see? <laughs> And if you're wanting to catch me live so you can see all the funny things that everyone is saying, <laughs> um, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when I go live. You, I like your earrings. Oh, thanks, Elaine. Thanks. Okay, and I'm going to go list some stuff too, Angela. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> um, and again, noon tomorrow, Merch Talk. We're moving it to tomorrow because I can't do it on Wednesday again. 
Life is happening. Yeah. Your favorite piece was the elephant. Awesome. Uh, that is wild if Margaret had one and Thelma had... Oh, right. <laughs> if the Thelma had the other earring. Yeah, because we're in Houston together, but we don't see her too much. I don't see her too much. Every now and then. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming to hang out, and I will see you guys later. Good night, everybody.